Our children's story today is a wonderful story called Victor's Pink Pajamas. I hope that you enjoy it. Victor's Pink Pajamas by Laura Allery, illustrated by William Kimber. Victor's pajamas were not always pink. When Grandma made them, they were creamy white like French vanilla ice cream. But they got washed with his sister's red socks and came out pink. Oh, Victor, cried his mother. I'm so sorry. Never mind, soothed Grandma. I'll make you another pair. But Victor loved his pink pajamas. When he put them on, he felt happy and silly, and joy rose in him just like bubbles in a fizzy drink. Victor's father was not pleased about the pajamas. He can't wear those, he declared to Victor's mother. Pink is for girls. Why just for girls? asked Victor. I don't know why, it just is. But walruses are pink, said Victor, and they're not just for girls. Walruses are not pink, they're grey, retorted his father. Only in the water, explained Victor. When they lie on rocks in the sun, they turn pink. That's because they're warm and happy, like me, in my pajamas. Did you hear that? Victor's grandma said to his father. The pink pajamas make him happy. For goodness sake, let the boy be. Victor's father sighed, but agreed <laughs> that Victor could wear his pink pajamas at home when it was just family around. It was winter, and Victor's sister's birthday was coming up. She planned to go skating with her friends, then come home for hot chocolate and pizza and cake. Victor wanted to stay up and have hot chocolate, too. All right, Victor, said his sister, but don't wear your pink pajamas or my friends will make fun of you. On the night of the party, Victor wore his pink pajamas anyway. <laughs> Why is your brother wearing pink pajamas? A girl giggled. Pink is for girls. Why just for girls? asked Victor. I don't know why, she said. It just is. Victor looked down at his plate of hot buttered toast. Crabapple jelly is pink, he said, and it's not just for girls. The girl stared at him. Lots of things are pink and not just for girls, Victor explained, like Grandma's crabapple jelly, or my dog's tongue when he kisses me, or the sky in winter just before dark, or my cheeks when I come in from sledding. Whatever, sniffed the girl, but she said nothing else about Victor's pink pajamas. In the spring, Victor was invited to his very first sleepover. He'll need new pajamas, declared his father. There's no way he can wear those pink things. The other boys will laugh at him. Victor wore his pink pajamas anyway, and the other boys did <laughs> laugh at him. Why are you wearing pink pajamas, they chortled. Pink is for girls. Why just for girls, asked Victor. We don't know why. It just is. Worms are pink, argued Victor. So are the naked mole rats at the zoo. And baby birds in the nest. Pencil erasers are pink. Strawberry ice cream is pink too. Those things aren't just for girls. Nobody teased Victor the rest of the night. At the end of the school year, Victor's class had a party. Everyone was supposed to wear pajamas and bring a favorite stuffed animal to school. The night before the party, Victor set out his pink pajamas and his stuffed pig. 
Victor, warned his father, glancing in the room, there is no way you are wearing those pink pajamas to school. I absolutely forbid it. Victor wore the pink pajamas to school anyway. He caused quite a stir among the boys and girls in his class. Why are you wearing pink pajamas, Victor, they hooted. Pink is for girls. Why just for girls, asked Victor. We don't know why, it just is. Well, think about it, said Victor. Cherry popsicles are pink. Starfish are pink. So are the insides of shells. Wild roses and fireworks and mosquito bites and calamine lotion, all pink. Those things are not just for girls. They're for everyone. No one said another word about pink pajamas. That summer, Victor wore his pink pajamas at the cottage, and when he slept out in the tent in the backyard, he loved them as much as ever. But as fall drew near, even Victor had to admit that the pink pajamas were too small. Good, declared his father. Let's turn those old things into rags and get you a proper pair. But Victor was not ready to give up his pajamas, tight and threadbare though they were. Then, the night before school began, Grandma handed Victor a package. Victor, she said, you have grown so much that I thought I should make you a new pair of pajamas. Thank goodness, said Victor's father. It's about time we put an end to this foolishness. Oh, Grandma, cried Victor as he tore open the package. I love them. Just for you, my dear boy, she said, because flamingos are pink and bubblegum and hot dogs, and they're not just for girls, are they? The End <laughs>